Lighting Up the Way, Valley Electric Association. And we're suing them because they've been having hazardous working conditions uh, for these workers, and we feel like uh, they are not protecting right now. This lawsuit, uh, we have allegations against companies because uh, we know they've been, um, they've been doing a since where they're not protecting the workers uh, to spread the COVID-D and, and not protecting their families. Situation has been very difficult for these workers. Very, very difficult. The culinary union right now, we're making an effort, you know, uh, to fight this, to protect these workers and their family. But uh, we will continue to getting statements and evidence or in other properties, uh, you know, uh, if the situation is in the way. We know it was three months that we did social distancing, that we did lockdown in Las Vegas. All those three months, I made sure I cleaned myself, washed my hands, hand sanitized, and, you know, I go back to work three days later, you know, I'm sick on the fourth day. There was the proper procedures. There's not enough time to clean, so it was short-staffed that we were. I'm just about to make sure that the companies follow the proper steps, um, make sure that, you know, we're not just numbers, we're families also, we're, we're human, and um, I just want them to care, honestly. And then they're putting, you know, they're putting their workers and they're putting families at risk, and it's, it's been a difficult time. So I'm sharing my story today, because I have a son who with auti autism and asthma, and I live with my grandmother-in-law who I take care of. I am concerned of bringing it home to my family. And I love my job. I don't want anything to happen to me, my coworkers, my bosses. I just want procedures to be done, protocols. The way Caesars handled it is truly disgusting and I believe they can do better. My family and I did everything to follow social distance, distancing. We followed the strict protocol for three months. And now I come to work with well, the company breaks protocol within a week. It's very disheartening. I feel the company doesn't care about my lives or my kids. I wanna ask Caesars, are you gonna take care of my kids? If something happens to me, if I get sick, I am fighting for my coworkers, my family for us to be healthy. I want the companies to treat us like humans and not like machines. My name is Irma Fernandez and I am the daughter of Dolfo Fernandez, who was an employee at Caesars Palace in the housekeeping department and the utility, as a utility porter. My father will constantly tell me every day, I know I'm gonna get sick at work, I just know it. The company is not keeping us safe does not have the correct safety protocols for each employee. He could barely push his cart the last day he went to work. He had body aches and he advised his manager about it. And their response was, okay, go home and take a point or ask for X-Men Link. But he didn't because he's a hardworking man. So he turned around and went back to work. He finished his shift, but when he came home, he went straight to bed. And in the middle of the night, we all saw that he had a fever. During the last three days of his life, all he could think about was his job. That he needs to fight for justice for everyone, not just for himself. Because he always put everyone in front of him. And that's why I'm here because I want to be the voice of my dad, not only in memory of my father, but for everyone who's at risk, who has families, who needs to take care of their parents or their children. I want to fight for justice for a better safety precaution plan for every single worker in the casino industry, not just in Caesars Palace. And that's what I'm fighting for now.